So we now hear from Rick Dames. He is president of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, and he has sent us this message from Strasbourg. Good day. This is Rick Dams, President of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. I would like to welcome the thematic focus of the German Presidency of the Committee of Ministers on Artificial Intelligence and Human Rights and for organizing this conference. I would like to highlight the importance of standard setting to mitigate the risks relating to the use of artificial intelligence. Now, due to technological advancements, our lives are rapidly changing. Artificial intelligence is part of our everyday reality. AI is not about the future, it is about the present. Indeed, AI brings enormous advantages and transforms our societies in a variety of ways. To give but one example, the use of AI technology has allowed leading research institutes to accelerate their work on COVID-19 vaccines and delivering results in a record time. But at the same time, we cannot ignore the risk of using AI. For example, AI can be used to control and filter information flows or to exercise automated censorship of content published on social media. We know the results of that. Lack of transparency in data collection and its use by algorithms reduces the ability of human users to take fully informed decisions. In the criminal justice field, predictive policing and algorithms may increase discrimination and bias. If you do not address and mitigate these risks, artificial intelligence could soon become a formidable foe instead of being a friendly technology which expands opportunities, strengthens our democracies and improves the daily life of our citizens. Now, PACE has been working in the area of artificial intelligence since quite some time. Already in 2017, it adopted the report on technological convergence, artificial intelligence and human rights, which Inter Alia asked the CM, Committee of Ministers, to consider how technology challenges the different dimensions of human rights. Now, last year, during its enlarged standing committee, meeting on October 22nd, seven reports with resolutions and recommendations were adopted following a thematic joint debate on different areas relating to artificial intelligence and underlying both the opportunities and the challenges. This was because the German presidency took it also as their priority. Now these reports call for a pan-European cross-cutting legal framework for artificial intelligence with specific principles based on the protection of human rights democracy and rule of law. We strongly believe that self-regulation is neither sufficient nor appropriate. The increasing use of artificial intelligence brings with it a kind of new generation of human rights which must be addressed and put into a legal framework. A common pan-European legal framework is needed to address this new generation of rights. Now, what is the way forward? Well, it's moving towards a legal framework on human rights and AI. Now, who else than the Council of Europe could lead on developing such a framework? The Ad Hoc Committee on Artificial Intelligence, GAHAI, has conducted an impressive research mapping the rights that could be affected by the use of AI and the existing regulations that are applicable to AI. Indeed, we are not in a legal vacuum uh, many international legal instruments, including Council of Europe treaties such as the European Convention on Human Rights, the Council of Europe Convention on Data Protection, the famous T-108, the Budapest Convention on Cybercrime, they are all applicable to AI systems. But it is not enough. A consolidated and coherent legal framework is needed. Now, as a politician and a member of parliament, I am acutely aware of this because the job of parliamentarians is to translate international conventions into laws, giving effect to international standards within their own domestic legal frameworks. Now, the feasibility study proposes elaborating a comprehensive legal framework combining binding and non-binding legal instruments, both complementing each other. We do believe that this is the right way forward. We as Parliamentary Assembly are ready and willing to support this process and to make its input. Parliamentary input at all stages is particularly important because 
when the international legal framework is finally in place, we as parliaments will have to ratify and adopt it in our relevant legislation. Let me conclude. The Council of Europe has the duty to stay the world's leading standard-setting organization in terms of human rights, fundamental freedoms, rule of law, and democracy. And so they have to address artificial intelligence. I wish you all the success in this conference. And again, I thank the German presidency for taking this very important initiative. We are very grateful to Rick Dames, President of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, for that uh, very uh, thought-provoking statement uh, that he has provided us.